All right. Hi, everybody. It's Angie from Angie's Crazy Minnesota Diamond Painting. I'm coming to you today with some new things I bought. I bought myself two of these. They are called the Lockable Mates. Craft Mates. Lockables. This I bought, which is off of Michael's, and ordered it. And it's to put your beads in when you're diamond painting. And on this side, you could put your sticker or your card information in here because it's almost like a book. This shows you the picture of what it all looks like. There are 58 containers. It unsnaps. They slide out like this. And they're nice and big and deep. They are really deep. And that's how long they are and that deep. And in order to open these up so you don't spill them, you just push that little, this purple little lever in. This purple lever, you push that in and it pops up. Just that one. You can't open the rest of these unless you have that purple button pushed in to unlock it. And you get 58 of these containers. And these hold a lot of diamonds. This one is the same way, except they come out on this side instead of the other side. And they're sticking because of the plastic. It's brand new. Um, I have one that I opened already, but you have another whole side here of four. Yeah, four containers on each side that hold seven each. This is my new storage thing I'm trying. Um... I still like my Harbor Freights because I could take the containers out and leave them sit out and I know what color I am on. <laughs> but I bought two of these. The other one has got diamonds in that I have to unbag because I finished that painting and I have two to de-kit, no almost three. Um, then I was on there and I looked at this. I thought what if I could use this to store my extra drills in and kind of keep them color coordinated like a red, there's purple, yellow, pink, a teal green color, the blue, then you got the green green. So I thought I would try this to sort my drills to leave my extra diamonds in these containers or I'm just going to put them all in here. I have some in here now, but of course they're not numbered or stacked up or anything. They're just shoved in there. Because I just go by pen, by paintings, and each painting I finish, I put all the diamonds in one spot. So if I'm missing one off of that painting, I know exactly where to go, where I got it from, and pull it out. And saving my extra drills really helped me a lot because I did run out of some colors on a few paintings. So I had to dig through my stash, and thank goodness I had some. But I thought I'd try this, and I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know. I think I need stiffer baggies so they stand up better in the sides, you know? So they stand up better. Otherwise, maybe put the bag in with a piece of, like, um, recipe card in between. And maybe do it that way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do this for. But I thought it was cute and I had to have it. I liked it. <laughs> the only thing I hate is I have it sitting up on my one 3D drawer organizer. And every time I open the drawer and I have to slam it shut, they fall out. That's the downside of that. So I'm going to use this because I went and bought myself some pens. I finally bought myself some acrylic pens. I bought these off a of Drill Pen Frenzy from Donnie's store on Etsy. I got this clear one with the white swirl in it. Then I went and bought the blue one. Now this one has more bumps in it, which I really like better and it's thicker. This one is skinnier and only has, you know, the, the two bumps on each side and it's thicker in the middle. This one has a bunch of bumps, and I really like this is my favorite one. These I haven't really tried, but I do have the blue, and it's swirled with white, and it's clear. 
different colors. And then I bought myself this purple magenta pink one with the swirls in it of acrylic and I do like these. So I do have acrylic pens now and I do have clay pens and I have a couple plastic ones and then the regular ones that come in the kits. Then I decided to make some of my own cover minders and I decided I bought this one. I will hold it up in a minute so you can see better. This one is, well, this is me because, well, I'm naughty. I do have a potty mouth. If you can read that one, I'm not going to read that one out loud. And then we have the cute little cupcake that says, keep calm, eat a cupcake. The other one says, keep calm, eat chocolate. And Hakuna Matata. I love that phrase. Then I bought one for my sister. It says, always my sister, forever my friend. So I'm making my sister one, and she loves chocolate. So she will be getting that. And I bought her some bigger trays. And then I did purchase some magnets, some big enough magnets for the backs to fix to. I haven't made them yet. These magnets are not strong enough on the back, so I'm going to have to glue one on here. And then use the other one for underneath your paper. So I'll be making them up because I made them, bought them as gifts for my granddaughter, my daughter, my sister, myself. And I, I can't help but I think this one is so funny. <laughs> I can't help it. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. If you know my sense of humor, you know why I said why I think it's funny. Okay, it's a dirty one. Okay, so those are some of the things I have bought. I'm trying to think if I bought anything else that I have not shown. Um, no. Just basic needs like some more baggies I bought. Um, what else have I? Oh, I've got a battery charger that so if I'm somewhere where I don't have electricity, I could plug in my light pad. Um, that's about all I have to show. So, I got some magnets to make myself some cover minders and for family and myself. I got some three diamond painting pens, acrylic ones, some magnets. I bought myself another container system. I bought two of these from Michael's. This was also purchased from Michael's. And, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have for you guys. Looking forward to doing a whip and chat, which is a work whip means work in progress. And chat, you just talk. So I'll be talking, and I'll tell you guys to bring out your diamond paintings, and just to listen along and keep you company while you diamond paint and I diamond paint. But I'm talking to you, even though I can't see you. Um, there is a painting though that I have to order because I fell in love with it. I saw it once before and thought, nah. And then I saw Lizzie off of her channel. She bought a sexy picture. And I fell in love with that one. I always liked that one, wanted to get it. Well, now I want it. So... And there's a couple of ones I found off of AliExpress that I want to order. I found and I found another Diamond Art Club I want to order. There's some off of Treasure Studio Arts I want to order. I've been trying to get a hold of a Chris 